everyone welcome back to the vlog and today I'm going to do a bit of a different video because I want to talk about starting ballet as an adult if you have seen any of the short videos that I've started posting they have mostly been about ballet because even though I don't post much on YouTube about ballet I kind of post a lot on my other social medias and since I've posted those videos I feel like I got a few followers that might be interested in this topic i don't know if you are i mostly do videos about like my life and iceland but i really want to share something about ballet because i'm really really passionate about it i started doing ballet like a little over a year ago and i just want to share a bit about my journey starting ballet as an adult i'm currently 24 so i started ballet when i just turned 23 and i want to talk about how you can start ballet what you need to know how to actually do it and a bit of that <laughs> so just to give you a little bit of a background i did ballet when i was like five until i was seven ish so i did it for like two years when i was little and i loved it back then but after that like my school schedule wasn't in line with like the ballet schedule so my mom couldn't take me so i stopped going to ballet classes and until i was like 12 i continued on dancing but never in ballet and when i was around like 14 i wanted to go back to ballet but i was told at like my old ballet school that i needed to like start taking classes with little kids and at 14 i was way too late to actually start doing ballet which was insane if you ask me right now but i was so sad about it and i didn't really feel like having classes with like six year olds when i was like 14 so i never went back to it until last year when i basically read like the midnight library book which talks about like regrets that you may have in life and the only thing that i came up with was like quitting ballet because i really liked it and I've never felt like passionate about any sport that I did as a kid. Like, I feel like everyone around me grew up with something and I never had like an interest outside of like school and reading and all of that. And I never like developed an interest in any sport that I tried. Like I tried everything. Like I did surf, I did basketball for a year, which was something else. Like I tried skating, I did a bunch of things and I never liked something as much as I like ballet as a kid. So that gave me like a few ideas, but I never did anything with it until I found some YouTube video of Luna Montana, which I watch all the time she's like a ballerina here on youtube and on other social medias and she did a little video talking about how to start ballet how it was never too late but you were like 16 so i'm not really going to take your advice until i actually found a girl talking about starting ballet as an adult but i was like too scared to do it i had a friend that did ballet and i asked her how our classes were because she was my age and she said it was really chill like people did point but i could start on like flat shoes and it was okay but i was too scared to do it until something really crappy happened last year and i needed an escape so i just went to a class and since then it has been my whole personality like i love ballet so much and it has become my favorite thing in the whole world and i really want to share that and if someone that is watching this video is like contemplating about starting ballet or trying a class or something like please do it i'm going to tell you how you can do it basically you just need to find a ballet studio that will accept you it seems pretty simple but it's kind of complicated like if you search like ballet classes for adults in your area something will come up it doesn't matter where like i live in Reykjavik which is a pretty small city and it still has ballet classes i feel like they can be really expensive especially for adults because they can charge you for each class that you are taking but just try a few just try to see if you can have like a trial class try a bunch of classes before you decide like if you really click with the first one stick to that but try a few try and see if something makes sense to you like my first teacher was super chill about like 
body positivity and doing ballet with being like a little plus size like slash mid size I don't know uh, I don't want to put myself in a little box but I'm definitely overweight compared to most ballerinas that you see and she has always been like super nice about it and I have never had a comment about it in any of my classes because it has always been about the dancing and knowing how to do every step like you can do ballet no matter the size that you have it's just that you need strength and a bit of flexibility and if you can do that with your size like sure go ahead like most jumps if you are a bit out of shape they will be hard but it's pretty doable and i really recommend anyone that wants to try it to try it no matter the age no matter the size no matter if you have some like slight disability i don't know how to say this properly but for example i'm still like waiting for a surgery in my hip and I'm still able to do it most teachers should be able to adapt the exercises for your needs so you should be fine for what you need to start the classes like workout clothes <laughs> like in adult classes you probably don't need to have like ballet clothes you just need like a pair of leggings or sweatpants even and a t-shirt most teachers do prefer if you wear like tight clothes because it shows like your body positions and they can correct you but, like it's not mandatory and if you are not comfortable with it like they should be chill with it if you are a bit younger you probably have to wear like a leotard and some tights but in the beginning if you are just starting out and especially if you are just trying it out and you don't want to jump into it already like go with socks and leggings and you should be fine but if you want to start with some proper ballet items you probably need some ballet shoes and obviously you need flat shoes not point shoes because unless you have been doing ballet for a ton of time and you are completely ready for it and you have approval of your teacher you cannot start with point shoes I feel like some people still don't know this but you need a lot of training to be able to put point shoes on because you will hurt yourself like I've been doing this for over a year I can see myself being able to use them in the future but like definitely not right now my shoes are just the decathlon ones they don't even have like the split sole you don't need them like i've asked this to my teachers and some of them prefer if beginner students actually use this instead of the split soles because this like makes it harder for you to like articulate your foot and you really have to focus on it while the other canvas shoes with the split soles make it easier but like it's just a personal preference and it's whatever you can find like I just first asked my friend that did ballet what she wore and she told me that she wore like the cheapest ones from the Catlin so I got those but they are pretty crusty right now so I think I'm ready to like invest in some new ones you can get them from Amazon they are way cheaper there or you can just go to a sports store I don't know what you have around you but here in Portugal where I'm familiar you just have Decathlon and you don't need to go to a specialized ballet store but you also have ballet stores uh, you just need to look them up and you can try those and the people on the store will probably like advise you on what you can get but yeah ballet shoes are mandatory basically then you will need some leotards it doesn't really matter the color if your class is more like free i feel like they only have mandatory colors for little kids or if you are like training to be a professional but yeah you can just get yourself a leotard with whatever cut and color that you want it's like the most fun part of ballet is really dressing up in my opinion so yeah you have tons of different options like these two are from amazon this was the cheapest one that i found it's just a basic pink one that I feel like it's mostly made for children but it feels very like chill um, it was like 7 euros and I got it in white after it and I just 
alter it myself I did some stitches in the front and I added like some lace sleeves you can also do that to make it cheaper but this one was maybe 20 euros from Decathlon or you can just go to a ballet store they have beautiful ones and I really want to invest in like a pretty one I might do that in the near future but right now I just have four and they are good for the week and like a leotard is good because it won't like cry it up it will stay put, you can jump, you can move and the leotard will stay on you'll probably need some tights try to get some ballet ones because they are way stretchier and more durable you can wear them underneath the leotard or on top it's just personal preference unless your teacher tells you something different after that, this is like not the mandatory part but it's the fun one and it's wearing like little ballet jackets if it is a bit colder you can just cover yourself with it and also wear some leg warmers just for the vibes not like the leg warmers are useful if it's really cold to warm up your legs in the beginning of the class because if you have stiff muscles you can't do anything you can also get skirts mine is just a wrap one which is a bit longer in that way I don't have to show my butt in the class but you wear like little bullet point skirts that are a bit shorter or something else just go and have fun and try on different outfits I really feel like this is the best part of ballet what do you need to know before you go into a ballet class? this is just a thing that I wish someone told me before I got into the whole ballet world if your shoes come with like this little bows this is to tie up the shoe, so it's tight to your foot. Um, this is not something that is supposed to be shown. You always tuck them in. Like, you always see ballet flats, the ones that you wear in the street with the little bows, just because it's cute. But in ballet, you should tuck them in. I was only told like a few months into ballet, after wearing like the bows into every class, like showing, until someone said to me like you should probably tuck them in we usually don't wear them like outside of the slippers um i feel like that's something that you learn as a child like no one is going to make fun of you but if you want to save yourself of the embarrassment like tuck in your bows before you go into your first ballet class you don't really need to do much you can just go in and have fun like you will learn like the positions and how the steps are called and what you need to do uh, in class but if you are curious and you want to be more prepared you can look that up on youtube or you can also even try a beginner's ballet class on youtube i recommend like Catherine Morgan she's like this amazing ballerina and she does really cool classes and she also does like workout classes for ballerinas um, Jasmine McDonald, like she also does like good ballet workouts but I feel like hers are really difficult sometimes yeah you can try something out see if you like it and really just go in and try it for yourself I'm really glad that I did it I got to perform last year after doing ballet for four months and I did it with an injury and it was a whole mess but it still was one of the best experiences of my life and this year I actually got to do it last week too for the second time and it went on like really good for what I knew and what I could do like it wasn't perfect but I'm just trying to be a little nicer to myself and I'm still going to do one last performance this weekend and I'm really excited about it I'm really excited to go back to Iceland and look up at a studio that actually makes sense for me because like this is all really nice but I have also shared like the struggles that I felt moving to another country and trying to find a studio that was like the one that I had back in Portugal because I didn't really like enjoy adult ballet classes after only doing classes with teenagers in a really cool environment but I feel like the problem was just with the studio that I was at 
I felt like it was really basic. I already knew the basics. I wasn't perfect doing them, but I knew a lot more. I felt like I lost a bit of the progress that I did because I did classes with like intermediate to advanced dancers and like I struggled my way through it, but I felt like it was way more fun that way. So you can also ask to join like a more intermediate class if you don't have the option of joining like a beginner class and see what you like the most. Try different levels, I'm going to do that exactly. You can do what I'm going to do next, which is going to every ballet studio that I can find in that city, which is quite a small city. I feel like they probably have like five to six ballet schools in Reykjavik and see what works with me for the money that I'm willing to spend and the environment that I want to be in and I just want like a nice supportive environment that like can help me my way into point actually because I really want to do it and I want to keep up with this level that I have been doing in the summer vacation I've been taking like four classes and it has been amazing but yeah, I need to stop rambling. I feel like you got the point. I really love ballet. It has been super fun. If you are thinking about trying it, do it. It's the best thing ever. If it's not for you, at least you tried it. Try different places if you really want to do it. And have fun. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Like, I'll probably include more belly content in my videos in the future when I start my classes again. So, if you want to see that, you can subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!